137 in the afternoon and I'm gonna find out pretty soon here just how cold it is but like my shifter does not want to move <laughs> it's like yeah the fluid in the transmission is like frozen solid <laughs> and um, I'm expecting around negative 30 I think I'm putting my glove back on because my fingers do the whole case of insta freeze as soon as I like take them off now and I'm blowing steam all up in your face now you like that I know all right let's see if I can get the camera to stay my seat belt won't let me loose ah! come on you stupid piece of junk Ooh. I didn't like that too much. I just let the clutch out. Just let the clutch out again. You can hear the difference. Probably because the transmission is so cold. Anyway, get loose enough. Put the camera there. I know you can't really see much, but I gotta get going here. Come on, baby, you can do this. Okay, maybe you can't. Fine. Ah. Into reverse, baby. camera so we're gonna wait for this sucker to go into full drive what when did you zoom in come on four wheel do this thing yeah that scrape you heard that was me trying to get it into reverse okay it's in right now <laughs> there's my four wheel that's what we're talking about <clears throat> stay in first one thing I can be happy about. Full wheel drive on this truck definitely works. Ooh, it does not like me racking it past the synchros. <laughs> I do get a little bit of that at the beginning, but it goes away after a couple seconds, so it's not really all that big of a deal. Ah, oh, come on truck. Oh, jeez. Not appreciating the cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> and unfortunately, the block heater just burned out of this thing a couple days ago. Like, I'm sitting there at my computer in the back room, and the lights back there dim for about five seconds. I'm thinking, okay, what was that all about? Well, my friend goes out to her truck to get started up and go somewhere, and notices that both of our block heater lights are turned off, and block heater the extension cords have lights on them you know well both of them were turned off so I'm like well that's weird so we unplugged both of them GFCI is not tripped so that's even weirder so I go back into the breaker panel and the breaker is tripped so I'm like Ugh. all right so let's reset the breaker and see what happens so I reset the breaker the lights dim again wait that's not the correct uh, sequence of events. I gotta make a turn here. First gear, we go. Second gear, we go. Third gear, we go. I can't see because my window is locked. Fourth gear. Shifting with my left hand. <laughs> Spending too much time on the camera. Anyway, what was I saying? Fifth gear. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, 
Oh, right. So, turn the breaker back on, everything's all right. We plug in her truck, everything's all right. Plug in my truck, the lights dim again. Unplug my truck real quick, there's this massive spark at the receptacle. And it's like, oh, great. I know what just happened. <laughs> ah, you bitch, Dave. unplug my truck, I get under the hood and pull off the block heater plug, which already I had issues with. Like, once you, if you plugged in the, the ground on it, the GFCI would trip non-stop every single time. It was inevitable, pretty much. So I unplugged it entirely, so that leaves only the oil pan heater on this truck as working and it works for now so i uh went out and got a battery maintainer slash charger a couple days ago and tried to hook it up only to find out that the cold had caused the wires to split the wires all split and that makes the entire thing useless because then all the wires are crossing barely bare metal to bare metal and you know that's just gonna cause everything to short the hell out so this truck still only has a battery heater on it why am I coming up to the university you might wonder <laughs> there is a reason and there's also a good reason for my battery being about to die and that is it's effing cold and we'll find out just how how effing cold it is in just a few minutes. But I don't think there's any temperature signs up in this area. And like I said last night, the thermometer at the cabin is stuck. So, And there's no parking here! Grr! Alright, let's try going across the street here. Ugh. And there's no parking here either. Come on, people! This is getting long. The truck is getting easier to shift though. Things are warming up. Temperature coming up. It gets up to about 150 and hangs, I think, because either the sensor or the gauge is still messed up. But it's not something I'm gonna worry about too much. Sometimes when I'm shifting this thing, it's almost like I'm in an automatic because of how good I feel I'm getting at shifting with this thing. It actually doesn't feel like a manual sometimes when I'm shifting. I mean, it still is, and obviously there are ways you can tell, but in general, this thing is really nice. Uh, you in seconds so we don't end up sliding backward as this truck has done numerous times because I forgot to put it in gear and I don't set the brake because of the potential that it will freeze up. Uh oh ow my truck just shocked me. Why am I here? I'm here because I have to take an ish and I don't feel like using an outhouse. Goodbye. Let's never end. I have something in my lens floating across the hood of my truck now. Beautiful. 
Well, now that that's done, <clears throat> I am going to go find out how cold it is. Yeah, just a little cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's something I could do maybe a little bit warmer. I was expecting negative 30 something to be honest with you because my computer was saying negative 37 this morning but it's also reporting down at the airport and obviously up here we're not down at the airport so yeah there's that am i gonna get a light or are these people going to get a light first these people get a light first you suck here and my clutch is being stupid again like it's low on fluid, but I just filled it up again yesterday, so I'm leaking fluid somewhere. That's freaking fantastic, I gotta tell you. Oh yeah. Let's go. Through all my issues with this truck, there is one thing I am happy to say I will never have to worry about, and that's heat. I mean, sure, she takes a while to warm up, but you know what? Anything that's sitting outside at negative 35 degrees with only an oil pan heater on it is gonna take a while to heat up. Um, it's a given. And wait, I this radio, this freaking radio, I fixed it a couple times already. I've taken it apart completely. The volume control, I had to do a quick turn there. <laughs> of all things on this radio that could possibly stick, it had to be the volume control. Yeah, so when I go to turn the volume up on this thing, it keeps going up after I let off the button. And that is not fun, let me tell you. Let's see if I can get it to do it. See if I can get it to turn on even. And then when you kind of turn it down, it just comes right back up. Yeah. And yeah, now the now the lower side sticks too. Stop it. Arr. So I've beaten the hell out of this thing a couple times already. <laughs> And the tuning knob is actually getting to a point where it's starting to stick too. So, <clears throat> mostly I just leave it on one volume and like I'll stick my tape in, stick my iPod on, I'll just control the volume with my iPod instead of the radio. Cause like, I hate, this thing just turns itself all the way up. And this speaker right here, obviously, right in my ear. Oh yeah, just a major pain in my butt. <laughs> Who's texting me? Uh. <clears throat> hey. And while it may only have the oil pan heater, it's still good to have it plugged in because at least something will be remotely warmed up on this truck. And you know what? I'm also going to go ahead and check that clutch fluid real quick. Hopefully the camera will hang around with me instead of killing itself because it's so cold out. Ah, there it goes. Hood doesn't like to open anymore. All right, clutch fluid. I leak down the front because I dripped some yesterday. That was expected. It's still got clutch fluid. Eh, so what's your problem? Maybe it's just not pressurized enough. Ah, come here, shop rag. I'm gonna clutch fluid off. It's actually brake fluid, I guess. But it goes in my clutch, or it goes in the clutch reservoir, or something like that. So it's, I'm calling it clutch fluid. Ah, that thing's still stuck. And I'm still cold. Nothing seals on this place at all. There's ice coming through the walls. This place is a pain, you know that? It really is. My cat is missing in action. Probably hiding in her box because it's the only warm place in this freaking place. <clears throat> keep my door closed most of the time because when I'm not here it's just a cold sore I guess got plastic Ugh, put a... you better 
Why won't you stay up for once? I got plastic put up on my window. Again, not the greatest. It was only the second one I did after I did the one in the right next to the refrigerator. And like I showed you this yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm forgetting things. I can't even believe it's December already, okay? But it is, and I'm gonna go, so. I'll talk to you guys later. Ow! These hiking boots don't like to come off. <laughs> Goodbye.